So the version 7 of NPM has been launched today and it is available obviously for you guys to install. We're going to get to that later on. It will be shipped with Node.js 15 which is again coming next week. So it will be the default uh, you know version of NPM which ships with Node 15 and just usual because this is a major upgrade it comes with a bunch of new features and a little bit of breaking changes so the first thing is it comes with workspaces support workspaces is basically available in yarn from version 1 i guess and it has been finally added to npm as well the idea for workspaces is just to have a convenient way of maintaining a mono repo with a lot of um, you know you might have used uh, uh, file structure like which includes a client and a server folder so it helps you to manage all the package dependencies and node modules which are common modules at the top so this is this is like a nutshell of workspaces we can obviously get more into that in a different video then it says that it automatically installs peer dependencies peer dependencies is just like a sort of a feel in package.json file just like your dev dependencies and uh, regular dependencies peer dependencies are supposed to be those dependencies which are assumed to be present right so for example if you are installing react dom then it is react dom can safely assume i mean it should assume that react is installed right so this is an example of peer dependency so npm did not use to install peer dependencies by default and it actually created a warning in the terminal if you remember from any npm install but now they are gonna install peer dependencies from npm 7. so that's that's a change then they mentioned that they have changed the package lock to package lock version 2 and they actually now support yarn.log as a file for uh, you know installing the packages as well so by this what i mean is that this means that you can use yarn.log as a file for package installation with npm as well this means that it could be an easier transition from package lock to yarn.log right and i believe on the first installation they're gonna just go ahead and uh, uh, install a package lock.json file as well they're gonna create a package lock.json file as well you can see it says that npm will still create a package lock.json file and if package lock is present then it will be used as the main file for for creating the whole shape of the tree right now this is a huge blog post which goes into technicalities of why yarn.log is not a uh, uh, you know their default choice right now this is basically the title of the blog post as well that if uh, yarn.log is now supported why we should go ahead and use package lock right but that is that is basically what this blog post goes into so you are free to go give it a read but in a nutshell what's going on here is that yarn.log has a tree like structure the dependency which it creates binded to its own version as well so it is possible according to the npm guys i have no uh way right, right now to establish this fact but this blog post says that it is possible that a different version of yarn with the same version of yarn.log might produce a different tree right for example these two trees are similar in case of yarn so anyway coming back to the actual thing that is yarn.log is now supported that means easy migration for you guys from yarn to npm if you were looking for that in your big projects so here you are you can easily migrate it without actually breaking all the uh, sensitive dependencies dependencies which are having breaking changes even in the patch versions so there's that then in terms of breaking changes you can see the most prominent one not really breaking but uh, you know this is that npx has been completely rewritten to use npm ex exec that means this is also something which is available now uh, just like we have npx to run commands which are uh, you know not available not installed on your system but you still want to install and run those packages so you can see that npm is not marked as latest so that means you cannot really install it like you would do with npm install g latest you have to install it like this or you have to wait for installing node 15 because node 15 right now is not available we're gonna be just going ahead and installing it like this so yeah let's just go ahead and take a look at my npm version as of now npm and node so i'm running a pretty old node version 13.5 15 is around the corner so let's just go ahead and anyway first of all install 
npm7 i'm gonna need sudo with this because uh, that is the way it is configured on my system you might or you might not need sudo right so we can see that we have a little bit of problem so we're gonna go a little bit reckless and uh, all right so i guess i screwed up something so let's just go ahead and screw up another version instead so i'm gonna go ahead and run the same command but this time with force so that we recklessly modify the system right so now if i go ahead and write npmv we get number seven as a dependency and our node is gonna be 12.8 right so let me just go ahead and create npm7 as a directory oops npm7 npm7 there we go and now we can probably make use of npm exec as well as npx right so you can see nothing happened similarly with npx but if i try npx http server you're gonna see that it now prompts me to install first of all right earlier that was not the case earlier it used to just go ahead and download that so this is a new feature in node 7 not node 7 npm 7 and similar thing with npm exec also http server this is just gonna work just like npx right so now if i say okay to proceed it's then gonna go ahead and install that so this is why this was in a breaking change right now if i go ahead and do this again it does not happen because that is already available in the global cache so it just reuses that that is like one of the way uh, npm works right now i would highly recommend you to not do this because you know this is just basically screwing up with your system you don't want to do it if you do not have a, a sort of a version management system like this because for me i can just go ahead and now switch to version 14 and this should work out of the box for me i'm back with a stable npm and a stable node chains one so yeah that's pretty much it for this video hopefully you're going to be enjoying npm and npm 7 features as they come out with node 15 that's all for this one. Let me know what's the best one according to you, what you're going to be using the most. That's all for this video. I'm going to see you in the next one really soon.